Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're at the caravan and I'm going to show you how to hook up your caravan to your car. So a correctly attached caravan to your car is really important. So the first job is to check the handbrake. So come along with me and we'll check that now. So check that the handbrake is on and that the jockey wheel is fully down. You don't want it up in any position, you want it all the way to the floor. Make sure that your handles are both tight so that when you take the legs up it will hold the caravan. We're going to wind going round to the legs and we're going to wind those up. So let's wind the legs up. Instead of using a manual winder because we're a bit lazy, use one of these. Just a general drill. And one of these. This has got a leg attachment. And just like any normal drill bit, whizzes on there. Tightens up. And then very easily it inserts into the hole. You can wind your legs all up. Nice and easy. Like that. Next job, wind the caravan up. Because we're quite low on this pitch, it's not going to be high enough to sit under the ball. So what we do is we use this as the jockey wheel and we raise the caravan up on the on the uh, jockey wheel so that it will sit under the cup of the caravan. Don't need to go too mad, just enough. Just enough. And that's, a, that's about right there. So let's hook it up. Now I'm going to show you what happens in the car as well and how we bring it back onto the toe ball. Press it. Right, so bringing the car back now, and as we saw, the hitch is high, the jockey wheel's on, and it's all set up. So Dad's filming in the car, how we're using the reversing camera. Usually, if you didn't have a reversing camera, you bring him back with one hand down the middle, by the hitch, like that, and you just bring him back like that. And then when he gets close, you bring the hands together, and when the hands are like that, you know you're back. But because he's using the reversing camera, I'm still here to make sure he's okay and uh, in case anything goes wrong. So I'm just going to bring him back now. Bring him back now. And that's perfect. I'm give him a little knock. And he's going to go forward a little bit. He's just going to go forward a couple inches. Just a little bit. So the hitch is perfect. job is to hook the breakaway cable up and that means if you ever have to take that handbrake off if the caravan rolls backwards it'll only go as far as the breakaway cable so I keep mine around the jockey wheel just remove that and you might think because I've got the carabiner style we upgraded ours got a little hook under there and I can just clip that on there you can't because that is not a strong bit of metal and also my breakaway cable is it's long enough, but isn't really long enough. So unfortunately, we have to put mine round here and clip it back on itself. Now, if I leave it like that, it could just jump off like that. So what I do is I pull mine tight at the start. So that means it's got less chance if this ever came off, which it won't or shouldn't, it's got less chance of pulling off. All right, that's what the breakaway cable does. So for this, caravan comes off, it pulls the handbrake and then snaps. The next job is to wind the caravan down. So we've got the Alco hitch, the older type, and we pull the stabiliser up till it clicks, pull the black handle up so it clicks, and then we wind the caravan down on the nose so that it will meet the car and it should click. Now you may see we've got a green indicator there, just there. But never, ever trust that green indicator. Always either try and, I never do, you could always try and lift the caravan, which is not a good idea. Some people do, I don't. But I raise the car on the jockey wheel. So it's actually winding the car up. Then, I, then you've got to then wind the jockey wheel down until it sits. So what I tend to do is I just slacken the handle off a little bit just to make that life a bit easier and then use your hand to 
there's some forks in there. They meet up. And that's tight. Un undo the handle, pull it all the way up, and then put the handle up. That does up nice and tight there. Make sure that your handle's tight and your handle's tight. Next job is to plug the electrics in. Now, as you see, we've got the 13 pin plug. If I was just to plug that cable straight in there, you can see that's gonna drag along the floor. So what we do, is I take our stabiliser down a little bit, I get the electrics, and I plug them through the electrics. I go round there, pulling them through, and with the 13 pin plug, depending on your electric installation you take it in at nine and we twist it like that and then what we do is we then shut the stabilizer down being careful not to trap the cable like that all right it's enough slack and whatever for the car all right next job and the last job Take the handbrake off and that we've got the euro overrun system and that just comes off like that and the last job we've got alco atc on this caravan and if you can see there that's showing green right so the car's hooked up and now we should do a quick sanity check and we'll be off check that the breakaway cable is attached the electrics are in they're not on the floor the stabilizer's down the green is showing but we'd never trust that the handbrake's off, the jockey wheel is up, it's clearing the floor, and the handle is tight. And then we come over the caravan, and we're going to do a quick walk around. Walking around the caravan, the door's open, lock. Check the back of the box, check the doors, walking around the back. Now we're going to check the lights in a minute, but that's the next job after we've checked the uh, doors around here. Check the toilet. It needs to be locked. I use the right key. Lock that. Now the last job is just to uh, check the Truma vent cover and the whale and the front locker, which I've already checked because we've got the towing cover on. Next job is check the lights and we'll be off. In the car. We're checking the indicators and I give him the thumbs up to tell him that the lights are good. We check the brake lights and lastly, Dad's just getting them out now. He's getting his towing mirrors out. We use the Malenko uh, Safety Plus mirror, not the usual aero mirrors. They've got the aero heads and ours are strapped. Quite simply, we put a D and a uh, P on each so we know which one's which. They fit on the Cougar quite nicely. They just strap over a pull in tight. Now you know always you need these on all vehicles. And um, like I say, these are the mirrors. They sit nicely. They don't wobble, which is nice. And uh, yeah, they sit really nicely. So that's the caravan on the car. Uh, all hooked up. Like so. So we've done our walk around. We've got the mirrors on. I'm safe that it's hooked up. And yeah, we're all happy. So now Dad's just going to drive the caravan off the pitch. And I always check once he's driven away that the everything's running good and that the caravan is cool. He's waving goodbye to people and that there's no chocks left on the pitch. That everything is running good. Nothing's been left off. So then what I would do is I always have a look on the pitch, check that nothing has been left. And the caravan. Right guys, so as you can see, that rubber gator is pushed up. That means if I unhook the caravan now, it will jump into my bumper. So what I need to do, pull the handbrake on, like that. And Dad is gonna jump in the car and he's going to pull the car forward so that that rubber gator is open. So quite simply, jump in the car, pull it forwards until I shout woe. Ah. 
and he's gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, and that does perfect. See, that's now wide, and that won't jump off if I take it off. Right, so you've arrived at your perfect pitch, or your caravan. So, jockey will. Undo the clamp, like so. Don't drop it all the way down to the floor. There's a good reason for that. If you arrive at your perfect pitch, and it slopes down, and you've got to dry, put your jockey wheel down, it will only go as far as the jaws. So, remember, so if you take the jockey wheel halfway up, which you're not going to do it all the way tight, so it's, the free movement is easier, wind it to the floor, finish, make sure the clamp's done up tight. Next job, take the stabiliser off, and that just pulls up like that. Undo your 13 or pin plug, or your 12 pin, 7 pin, sorry, and that just unhooks the opposite way like so and remember don't just leave it on the floor plug it in your socket holder there because that means no water ingress can get in it all right next job take the hitch handle up and to wind the jockey wheel up so that it clears the car mine does there we go let's clear out a car I'm just going to wind mine a bit higher and the last job is to slam brakes on, release the breakaway cable and remember also don't leave that on the floor because that could be a tripping hazard so what I do is I just put mine around the, the uh, jockey wheel 